Beautiful night on Nantucket. 8.30. Welcome to Prayers from the Attic. Meepo, what are you doing? Here we are. Up we go, the door's open, Meepo, in case. Meepo. Meepo in the attic, huh? Meepo in the attic. We should have him film it. <laughs> Tape it to him. <laughs> Meepo live, Meepo view. Yeah, I know, Meepo camera. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Meepo. <laughs> silly he doesn't look at the camera, it gives you the cheek. That's right. It's like Hello. A, Good evening. It's Ali. Looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like your juke. Oh, always Ali. Always look beautiful. Hey, look at the lobsters um, wearing my crown tonight. Love this crown, crown that Ali made for her. Tambourines are ready. Okay, beautiful. Look at it. Still have some flowers left from Dual McIntyre's flowers a week and a half ago on the altar. Dual McIntyre Jr., our beloved patriarch, is our... The flowers are great. I'll tell you, flowers on chestnut. They're our friends. Scallop shell. People out in front of the church. Get off the lawn! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I'm sorry. So bad. Windows closed, everybody. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm really in. form. Okay, everybody. Welcome, welcome. What do you want, Meepo? You want to come up? Oh, oh here he goes. There's Mr. Ball. Welcome, everyone. Oh, so the day ended up being uh, sunny. Pretty day, yes. Yeah. It did end up because uh, it was a little dismal this this morning. And, uh, the gray, the gray lady, they call it. That's okay, but the sun did come out. I planted more sunflowers and zinnias in cups huh, for a later crop and the ones that i have growing in the ground are doing okay but some have big like bug bites out of them and i went on um, nantucket garden forum today and they people chimed in and said they thought it was slugs I'm like, how are the Yikes. slugs getting up there, you know, up to the, up, well, they're, they're not very tall, they're young, but, um, but there's some, they're Yeah, just... Vicky Goss, our gardener, mentioned slugs often attacking hostas. Yeah, I don't know. Well, certainly the bunnies are doing that. So anyway, um, I'm supposed to put some beer out on a, on a saucer, but. Beer? Yes. Yes, I, I can do that. I think all we have is dogfish head from the people who brought us the guests. We don't usually stock beer in the house much, but when guests come, especially my brother Johnny, he goes out to Dogfish Head and gets some. <laughs> yeah. Well, real, we real have pale ale Cisco and. Is, are you talking about. You mean Cisco? Oh, Cisco, Cisco yeah. Cisco, Dogfish Head is in that's Delaware, that's yeah. In Delaware. Anyway, not to they be. Do, they sell out here too. That, but uh, so, anyway, just I have a little, you know, I'm in a. I have a situation. <laughs> Gotta figure out. Situation. So let me know if there's anything I can do to make the bugs and the. Stop eating my sunflowers because I need to have them in my. I have to have at least ten bloom this summer. Anyway, I know you've planted all along um, our organist Joe Hammer's side of the fence. A lot of great sunflowers. All and kinds sunflowers of sunflowers are a symbol of welcome. I understand, and also oh, I've so a, 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 a lady priest that I knew back in. Um, Rhode Island. Providence. Said, God's yes, Providence. That had said, did you know that sunflowers are a symbol for Jesus? And I didn't. So there you go. That's for the resurrection because the seeds fall into the ground and new life comes up. Which we can testify from gardens we've had. That yes. They drop their seeds, they come yes, back year after do. year. Yes, they do. So. Year after year. Hi, Anne. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Janet, you're gonna send. I didn't see that. You're gonna send some seeds tomorrow. Okay. Oh, that's right. Janet had like you know sunflower that's oh. twenty feet tall. Oh, very nice. And uh, that'd be great. Okay. Yep. All right. So, shall we? Is there anything else you want to say before we get rolling? Uh, what do I want to say? Oh, we had a very. The mission committee had a really good day. Another hundred meals distributed or 
I hope Libby's back already. She had several just deliveries to make. Poor Libby, she goes to a place, the phone number's wrong, she calls every week. <laughs> hope she didn't call tonight because I, my, my phone, the ringer wasn't on. But anyways, yeah, so, but yeah, it was, I had a nice, um, where I make a delivery, the dog knows me now, so it gives me giant kisses on the nose and on, on both ears, Ollie. It was like the, <laughs> like the French, kissing both sides of your face, you know, with the great big dog, precious. So that's all I know, the Mission Committee with the, Nantuck, the Community, Community Foundation for Nantucket continues to feed a little while longer where people get on their feet. And uh, it's a blessing. That's all I think I know, Ollie. What else? Oh, I had, I'm sure I had other meetings, but I was wondering, what was, oh, um, yeah. Oh, I know, I'll talk more about it later. I had a great conference uh, meeting with Dr. Balea, who you hear me quote, not quite as much as Jesus, but plenty of times, my brain scientist friend, a very young, like 85 now, and uh, he, uh, I'll talk about it. It was a life-changing hour of listening to him on a conference call from um, Eastern Shore, Maryland. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we're gonna have for the Order for Compline, Ali, and Order for Compline, page 127, of the Book of Common Prayer. That's a, that seems like a remedy. Oh, great. Oh, great. Thanks. I'll catch that later, Kathleen. That's great. Thanks great. so Thank much. You. Yeah, someone said they spray the yard with gar like garlic water to get rid of uh, mosquitoes, which uh, we have plenty of those, too. We have tiger mosquitoes with the stripes, I like, mm. but it's enough of that. Don't, don't, Order for Compline, page 127. Mm -hmm. Time to get peaceful, Ali. Mm -hmm. Peaceful. Forget about our cares. Mm -hmm. The Lord Almighty gets a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our heavenly, heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against, against you through, through our, our own fault, fault in thought and word and deed, and what we have left, left undone. undone. For, For the, the sake, sake of, of your Son, Son our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ forgive, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you and newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the mighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, glory to, the to the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Oh, it's a little bit crooked tonight. Is that okay? I don't know how to fix uh, it. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. We can, we can see us. We're so. going to capsize if I don't. So I think <laughs> That's I, all right. I should, uh, the heavy guy should be on that side of, that side of the boat, I think. Okay. Uh, so, Psalm, Psalm 95, page 724 of the Book of Common Prayer. 724, if you're using your Bible instead, the 95th Psalm, verses 1 through 7. 1 through 7 of Psalm 95, page 724 of the prayer book. We're supposed to be peaceful. I'll, I'll, I'll pray up to the asterisk. The congregation can respond, praying the second half of the verse. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God. And a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. And the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. And kneel before the Lord, our maker. For here's our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. For scripture, I used to have a, um, 
we used to have a friend in Tucson named Alice, and she had, a, I don't know where, she was from maybe North Carolina, and she used to say, I love to read scripture. Right? Yes, that's right. She said, I love to read scripture. And her brother, brother, I'd say brother. <laughs> she was Bro she just always called her brother just she brother. Would I'd her say brother. brother. That's brother. Brother? I don't know if that was Arkansas or I, I think it was the Carolinas. Maybe the Carolinas. Yeah. Yeah, she had a classic accent. Yeah, she was a little. And a fabulous cowboy hat up in Tucson. She was a shader, great lady. Shade of But face. she would always refer to as, I love to read scripture. So, scripture. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. What chapter are we? Chapter 9. Oh, uh, That's not what it's Chapter saying. 6, oh, verse Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not catching on to the numbers. Okay. <laughs> okay, chapter 6. Just in case. Okay. Check. 6, 9. 6, 9. 6, verse 9. Okay. Even though we speak in this way, beloved, we are confident of better things in your case. Things that belong to salvation. For God is not unjust. He will not overlook your work and the love that you sh showed for his sake in serving the saints as you still do. And we want each one of you to show the same diligence so as to realize the full assurance of hope to the very end so that you may not become sluggish but imitators of those who, through faith and patience, inherit the promises. When God made a promise to Abraham, because he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Human beings, of course, swear by someone greater than themselves, and an oath given as confirmation puts an end to all dispute. In the same way, when God desired to show even more clearly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it by an oath, so that through two unchangeable things, in which it is impossible that God would prove false, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to seize the hope set before us. We have this hope, we have this hope, a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters the inner shrine behind the curtain, where Jesus, a forerunner on our behalf has entered, having become a high priest forever according to the order of, Mel of Melchizedek. We oui. The Lord, word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Melchizedek. Don't call me Shirley. So yeah, so sure, <laughs> surely it is God who will, who will save us. I'll trust in him and not be afraid, Ali. So yeah, good reading, Ali. So yeah, that's um, he letter of Hebrews, letter to the Hebrews, uh, six nine. So I picked it because of the word anchor, and um, because of this conference call that I was on today to listen to, uh, Doctor Balea, Doctor his name is Doctor Angelo Balea, B O L E A. Ali went with me to meet with him one time. We had a great uh, great visit. And, and you uh, had a conference call with Dr. Bowen and also he today. came he came to and spoke at our parish before and gave great I remember that great con great uh, mm -hmm. presentation so anyways uh, doc, maybe see the Jean's uh, Jean's little apartment that's right and, yeah. yes for Jean so did you want to, I want to remind you of something there's this thing on your desk okay good you're going to work that in today I will it's okay. about gratitude okay. right okay. yes okay. I'll remind me that we have a little <laughs> quote from a little video of Enoch Fuzz, Pastor Enoch Fuzz, we pray for Pastor Fuzz. But anyway, so what, uh, I'll just rush me along. No, I'm not. So, I'm just getting, getting, getting me ready. Get so yeah. anchor. And so Dr. Balea talked about, he had a, a very, 15 years ago now, he had a virus that it, it, um, attacked his brain. He's a brain scientist, has been studying the brain since he was in high school. And um, so Dr. Balea had this, uh, a virus in his brain and Doctors are even, hurtfully, doctors are saying 
there's nothing we can do for you. You're going to die. It's just a matter of time kind of thing. And, um, but he didn't, he didn't accept that. And he had um, certainly a near-death experience, a major one, and had wonderful visions of comfort. He chose to, um, to live on through his suffering, as he put it. But he talked about, for all of us, um, having an anchor, like my show and tell, which I like to have. It's a book. book uh, it's a bookend. Bookend. Uh, this is from um, Doug, maybe. Doug is out of Doug. I bought it at the Potpourri booth at, at yeah, Christmas at our fair, fair. At a Christmas fair. At, many moons ago. And so, yeah. So it's an anchor. And so Dr. Blair talked about that we need to have in our brains before we have a virus or cancer or an illness, things, um, anchors, an, an anchor for life, he called it, anchors for life. And so a major, anch you know, his two major anchors that his life is um, steeped in um, is gratitude, that he's in the middle of this virus where he, had, he couldn't even speak, he, had, he wrote but he couldn't read what he was writing, it was a, he, he, he's the one that talks about it's important to write every day, to just write something every day is an important part of harmonizing our brain. Maybe Dr. Belay said that we should dance for 10 minutes a day. Oh, we need to dance more. Get out there in that garden and dance. <laughs> and um, so whether we're alone at home or with others, sometimes it's easier to dance alone than you don't embarrass yourself, in my case. Um, but, um, so, but Dr. Belay said to have anchors in your brain before there's a crisis. Um, and for him, it's gratitude and faith that in all his years of study, his faith is stronger than ever. He talked about a fourth, a fourth dimension of our brain, you know, a fourth consciousness um, beyond um, our normal consciousness. And he talked about our consciousness as he has with me in person and at other conferences I've been to with him in the Washington area. Um, our consciousness, consciousness surviving our bodies. He, he, he believes our consciousness is beyond brain function. So he talked about strengthening, strengthening our inner brain by having anchors of faith and gratitude, especially so it works for him, and that we work on that. And if you, I know when I had some um, uh, skin cancer surgery that was uh, somewhat scary, and um, and look how I turned out. <laughs> that um, my friend Susan Luff, who's a, a colleague of Dr. Belay's, and set up this conference today. Susan had me listen to a tape. What's that woman's name? It's a, it's a sweet yeah, tape about, you know, it's like, envision the doctors caring for your healing and, you know, the nurses and doctors around you caring and, and like, you know, like it's like it's envisioning tapes as you go to sleep. Matter to play while you're sleeping. And that that's the way that your brain um, cooperates in your healing, that we take, you know, that we take responsibility with, with our doctors for our healing, but that we have anchors before that's even needed. Anchors in our inner brain of gratitude, especially um, in faith. And with that, um, all will be well, right? All matters of things will be well. And so let's play this. Um, Pastor Fuzz, you know, has some. Oh, well, yeah, so we've been cancer, praying some for. Serious, um, we've been praying for Enoch Fuzz, the pastor, and you probably recognize the name. Yeah, Corinthians Church um, in Nashville, our dear friend Adam's church. Pastor Fuzz was at Adam's side. When he woke up from a, a, a bad stroke years ago, and Adam's come back to beautiful recovery and a beautiful member of our church, and when he's in Nashville, he's a member of Pastor Fuzz's church. So Max came across, um, he was singing today, I'm gonna put it on right now. Yeah. Max came across Pastor Fuzz had put a video on Facebook, so here it is, of him singing. Get his back in the hospital. There we go. Every time I turn around, he's blessing me. Every time I turn around, you know I'm standing on holy ground. Every time I turn around, he's blessing me. Every time I kneel in prayer, He's blessing me. Every time I kneel down in prayer, oh, oh, he's blessing me. Every time I kneel down in prayer, oh, you know the Lord, the Lord meets me there. Mm. Every 
turn around, turn around. He's blessing me. He's blessing me. Ain't God all right? Yeah. He's blessing me. Oh. Pastor Enoch Fuzz, blessing. Middle of his struggles, man of gratitude and deep faith. His anchors, his anchors, he holds on to it. All right, Olive. Thank you, Olive. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm reaching for all these books, Olive. When the one I really need is navy blue. <laughs> and it's oh, the we have to sing now. <laughs> okay. All righty. Uh, Isn't that beautiful? You're not fuzz. Yeah. What a nice... What a great attitude he has. A bit of a it's struggle. a nice surprise to come across that today on Facebook. Yeah. All right, we're on uh, page 438, hymn 438, uh, in the Navy Blue Hymnal. You know, this one is Tell Out My Soul. We'll see if we know this one. <laughs> and um, let me see. Uh, Tell is this the one we posted? You yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Look it up. Wait a minute. <laughs> Was it a seven verse one? I don't know. I think it was a two <laughs> Time out. Oh, wait, wait a minute. We, I wanted to sing that one, and then Max. We already sang it eight times before. Well, no, we no, did no. not, but I'm just. Oh. All right, just wait a minute. And remember what it was? Uh, okay, let's see. Uh oh, it is 458. 458. 458. I knew that. 458. Okay, let's... The other one was fine, though. But we sang that already, baby. Okay. Like yesterday, no, I think. No, we did not. <laughs> I don't want to catalog our hymns for us. We could use them. <laughs> so this one has seven okay. verses on uh, it. All right, let's do it's five. It's also, you recognize this, um, five? Yeah, let's do five. Okay? Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, no. Let's... Mm -mm. It's time to... Okay. 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 We'll do verses one through five. 458. You know this one from Good Friday and around those times, but it's also a beautiful, a beautiful hymn of praise to Jesus. Okay. 458. My song is love unknown. My Savior's love to me. Love to the loveless shown that they might lovely be. Oh, who am I that for my sake my Lord shall take the frail flesh and die? He came from his blessed throne, salvation to bestow, but men made strange and none the long for Christ would know but oh my friend my friend indeed who at my need his life did spend sometimes they strew his way and his strong praises sing Resounding all the day, hosannas to their king. Then crucify is all their breath, and for his death they thirst and cry. Why, what hath my Lord done? What makes this rage and spikes? He made the lamb to run, he gave the blind their sight. Sweet injuries, yet they at these themselves displease against him rise. They rise and knees will have My dear Lord made a way A murderer they save the prince of life They slay Yet 
steadfast he to suffering goes, that he his foes from thence might free. Let's keep going, we can't end on a downer. In life no house, no home. My Lord on earth might have in death no friendly tomb, but what a stranger gave. What may I say? Heaven was his home, but mine the tomb wherein he lay. Here might I stay and sing. No story so divine, never was love, dear king. Never was grief like thine. I'll just sing it. <laughs> this, this is my friend in whose sweet praise I will my days could gladly spend. I'm sorry. I get the giggles. I get the giggles. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, Alex. 132. 132. Halfway down. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who, who art in heaven. heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. So the three colleagues are going to read a, a Thanksgiving, um, a general Thanksgiving on page 836 of our prayer book. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you do for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends, the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which have demanded our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone, O God. And above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which you overcame temptation for his dying, which overcame death, for his rising to life again, which we are raised to the life of your kingdom, and grant us the gift of your Holy Spirit, who may know Christ and make Christ known, and through him at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you, O God, in all things. Amen. Amen. Okay. We have page 136. Prayers and intercession. Uh, tonight we um, pray for, uh, Lucy asked us to pray for St. John the Evangelist in Vertin, Vertin Entes, Cuba. We pray for Carl, we pray for Angela Ballas, for Ruthie, for Brookie. We pray for Bishop Alan Gates, his wife Trisha, for Gail Harris, our suffragan bishop, for Renee Martini, for Christine's sister Lorraine and family. Um, we pray for June and Alan, and for Josie, Melissa, and Ellie, for Leslie, Diane, and Mozart. We pray for our friends Linda, and Janet, and Kat, and Blair, and Missy, for Joseph. We pray for Adam. We pray for Nomond and Binth and for Mary Ann, Julie, and Andrew Metz. 
and their children. We pray for Skylar and Paula. We pray for those serving in the armed forces and their families, especially for Calic, Justin, Trevor, Lucas, and Jeff, working with our returning troops. We pray for Roberto and Aaron, for the Nantucket Cottage Hospital staff and volunteers, and for the Fairwinds Counseling Center and staff. We pray for Lucy's family and Luke's family, serving the medical community, and for first year nurse Sam in New York City. We pray for our homeless friends and for those that help them, especially Emanuel Shelter in Delaware. We pray for the Way Home Prison Ministry. We pray for all med flight crews and Coast Guard crews and first responders. We pray for the um, Mission Committee at St. Paul's. We pray for all children everywhere and children at risk. Uh, we pray for Julie and Matt and all food providers uh, working in supermarkets, grocery stores. My friend Jessica. We pray for Evan and Maria and Angela and Seth. We pray for Joe and Jordana and Todd and Susan. And who else? Gabriel at Street Wharf for Dre. Yeah, and for um, Mark and Edna. We pray for all Nantucket chefs and restaurant workers. Mark got rolled, of course, at Ships in. Welcome home. Not open yet, but soon. Uh, we pray for um, our musical friends, Peggy and Sherman, and for Joe Hammer, our, our music director. And we pray for Pastor Enoch Fuzz. Um, and his flock at Corinthians Church. And we pray for Jenny's neighbor, Sally, and Kathleen Waite's cousin, and Peter's sister, Nancy. And we pray for Noah McMillan and for Paul from Madiket. And I think that's all I have. Okay, Ali, that sounds good to me. And we pray for justice and peace. Justice and peace. Page 134, the bottom of the page. Bell's ringing, Ollie. I hear them. Pretty. You know, this Bell's town bell woke me up on every hour for the longest uh, time when we first moved here two years ago, Ollie. I guess I'm sleeping through it now mostly. How about you? Does it wake you up in the middle of the night? No, not really. In the morning, maybe it does, but yeah. not at night. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty thing. It's a beautiful thing, the bells. It marks the time passing. It reminds you to get busy. You know. It reminds you to relax. Mm -hmm. relax. Okay, so we're at the bottom of page 134. Let's pray together. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard, guard us sleeping, sleeping, that awake, awake we, we may watch with Christ, Christ and, and asleep we may rest, rest in peace. peace. Lord, you, you now have set, set your servant free to, to go, go in peace, peace as you have promised. promised. But his eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that in wake we may watch with Christ, and in sleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God, Ali. Thanks be to God. Okay. So. So think of those anchors in your life, anchors for life, that are in, in your inner brain, your in your being, gratitude, faith, the love that you feel, the love that we share with each other, love of God that we know in our lives, part of our faith. Trusting in the resurrection, uh, everlasting life, anchors, good times and bad. Okay, and here's that, a little. Did that go off on? Hello, everyone. Uh oh. 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 Uh o
No, 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 What's the name of this one, Ali? Shall we gather at the river? Again? It's pretty. Meet you there. Love you.